Hello again everyone, welcome back to my workshop for another of Harry's jetty training videos. And in this one I'm going to show you a really neat Lua application that I stumbled across by accident, which allows you to edit the timer configuration files in the transmitter on your transmitter screen without needing to hook it up to a PC and try and type in uh, text editing with the chance of getting things wrong and messing it up. This is a really neat app. Uh, let me show you what I mean. Uh, we go into uh, the timers. I've set up a couple of timers. And if we have a look at them, report type, you can select beep one, beep two, or voice. I'll select beep two in this case. And uh, what the configuration of those do is tell the transmitter when it's going to beep or voice out its countdowns. For instance, does it uh, tell you two minutes, one minute, 30, 10, 9, 8, whatever, or does it beep at those times? And it also tells the uh, transmitter which voice file to use. So at 10, does it say 10 minutes or just 10? And it also tells it how many beeps it's going to do at the end and what the frequency of those beeps should be and how long each of those beeps should last. And this Lua app just wraps it all up on your screen. It's brilliant. Let's take a look. Uh, so we go into Applications, into Beep Editor, and we can choose our file. I'm going to start off with Timer B2. Let's have a look in there. So what this tells us is... At time minus 301 seconds, so 301 seconds before the countdown timer is up, it will do a type 1, which is a beep. A type 2 is to play a voice file. Uh, the frequency of the beep is going to be 2000, which I'm having a guess is 2 kilohertz, but whatever. Uh, the next beep's 4,000, which is a higher pitch. How many will it do? It will just do one beep, whereas we can see at 300 seconds it does five beeps. And how long in milliseconds will that beep be? So 500 milliseconds is half a second. And so we can see how it progresses on down until finally at time zero, it gives a beep, because it's a type 1, a frequency of 5,000. It just gives one beep, which lasts for 1,000 milliseconds. So uh, let's have a listen to what that actually sounds like. I'll switch on the beep timer. It starts at 12, so it should come in at counting there, uh, beep number 10. So we'll hear, come down here, and then at uh, five seconds to go, we should hear the frequency go up from 4,000 to 5,000. Yep, they're all pretty short beeps. See, 200 milliseconds, 0.2 of a second. And then the last one should be a longer beep. So here we're going at 12 seconds and it'll start beeping at 10. There we go. Now, you, you heard the change in tone when it went from 4,000 up to 5,000. I'm presuming that's uh, hertz. And you heard the much longer beep at the end. Great. Now, this was all prompted in a way by, by someone asking, uh, could we get rid of all the, the beeps except the beep at the end? And of course, my response was, see my video about how to manually edit the files on your PC. And I came across this app and I thought, it's brilliant. So how do we edit the file? Well, in the case of this chap who only wanted one beep at the end, let's just eliminate them all. So we selected our line, press the X, got rid of it. And I'm just going to keep pressing X to be rid of them. I'll stop it there for a moment. Um, no, I won't. I'll get rid of the lot just to prove it. There we go. Now... That's all that's left. If I press OK, the warning does come up that you have to restart your transmitter. And the reason being, this is one of those files that the computer will read when it boots up. 
and obviously doesn't read it again. So you have to reboot the little pooter for it to read the file and see all the changes. So let's say OK to that, as it says restart. So let's do a restart. OK, I'll set the timer running again. Uh, and this time we shouldn't hear anything until the final beep itself. There we go, silence, none of the countdown beeps. Here we come up to the, the zero point. OK, let's stop that and clear that. But um, let's face it, us Jetty users tend to be uh, a little bit beyond our 20s in age and our high-end hearing starting to deteriorate. I can still hear that beep OK, but it's not as loud as a lower frequency beep. So let's go in and improve that. At time zero, uh, type one, that's a beep, not voice. Frequency, let's change that. And I'll press the menu button to get it changed by hundreds. I'm going to bring that all the way down to 2000. That'll be a lot easier to hear. What's more, I want it to give me two beeps. Uh, and I'll have them of two seconds each. So that means to be 2,000 milliseconds. There we go. Uh, so we should have a much lower frequency beep. Should be two of them, each lasting two seconds. Let's say OK to that. Restart the beast. OK, let's do the timer. Again, it should get down to zero, but it... Uh, should be a lower tone beep, which to my hearing is actually a little bit louder. Um, and we should have two of them, each lasting two seconds. Yeah, I like that. It doesn't disappear so much as the high frequency, especially if you're around jet engines or engines running, etc. OK, let's stop that there for a moment. Clear those and go back into it. Apps, beep editor. Now, wasn't that an awful lot easier than having to transfer the or copy the B2 JSN file over to your PC, open up a text editor, very carefully edit it so that you don't put a comma or a, a full stop or a character in the wrong place, save it, transfer it back to your radio. They're just brilliant. OK, uh, a while ago I went through all that procedure on my voice timer. Uh, so it's timer. And I, I got rid of a lot of stuff. So it basically calls out at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 minutes, 30 seconds, uh, 10 seconds. And what prompted me to change it was I don't like it counting down all the way from 10. I just want to be told at 10 and then 4, 3, 2, 1. That's fine. And so there we are. See, it's type 2, voice file it's expecting until you get right to the end. Type 1, which is a beep. 5,000's quite high, uh, two of them lasting one and a half seconds, and it counts out four. Uh, so it goes from 10, drops down to four. So first of all, let's have a look at adding in a time. So we move to uh, the time above the point we want to insert, because if we go here, it's going to try and insert a time below minus four. It can't. It's blocked by minus three. So if we press the plus button, we get that. You cannot insert a row here. Why not? Because it's trying to insert a row below and minus three is already taken. So if we go up to minus 10 and press the plus sign, it'll insert the next one above minus four, which is minus five. There we go. It's defaulted to a type one, which is a beep. You can have that if you want, even in the middle of your um, timer countdown, I guess but we'll change it to a type two. Notice all the um, parameters associated with a beep have disappeared and we need to select the relevant voice file. So I want to select that. So I just press it, find five. I'll take that one. Lovely. And 
uh, the next thing I want to do is come down and I'll change that final beep. 5,000 is very high. So uh, what we'll do is take it down. Let's try two and a half thousand, shall we? Yeah, because I took the uh, previous beep down to 2,000. Let's try that. Two of them of one and a half seconds each. Yep, I'll stick with that. Um, this one also has the stick shaker. Um, I might suggest to this chap he does a stick shaker Lua app editor. Uh, because at the moment, uh, you can watch my video about it, how to change the stick shaker configuration. Because um, I moved it from the right stick over to the left stick, uh, which isn't available in the Jetty menu. Again, you have to transfer everything over to PC, edit it there and take it back. Say OK to that. Restart the beast. Really shut down. Bring it back on. OK. So now I'll start the voice timer, um, starting at 12 seconds, so it'll read out 10. And it used to go 10, then 4, 3, 2, 1. Now it should go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and have a, a, a lower pitch of beep. 10. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. I think that's absolutely wonderful app. Do remember that these uh, three files, the beep one, beep two, and the voice files, they are global. They're not per model. So if you make a change to them, it will apply across every model that uses that timer. Um, but, you know, so be it. Okay, how do you get these Lua apps? Uh, well, you can actually get them through Jetty Studio. You just have to insert the correct link into Jetty Studio, which I'll show you in a second, uh, by a chap who sort of styles himself as Leon Air RC. He has quite a number of Lua apps for a Jetty. They're very interesting ones in there. Do take a look. But I thought this one was especially worthy of having. Um, so uh, what do you do? Okay, you open up Jetty Studio, your studio, you go to File. Sorry about the strobing, we'll try and get rid of that. Down to Configuration. Along here into the Apps Sources tab. And in there you insert quite a long line. Um, what I will do is put that uh, website in the comments section below this video. So if you copy and paste it from there into a new line, you can't just carry on a line, each one of these needs its own line in the app sources. Uh, I have found with some other ones I've put in here that, uh, strangely enough, they are um, sensitive to whether you've got capital or lowercase letters. So this one works, so I would recommend you simply do a copy and paste rather than try and type it yourself in case it is also case sensitive. And one you, once you've done that, say OK. Then let's crank up the transmitter. I wish I could stop that strobing. There we go. Connect your USB. Yeah, I managed to press the wrong button. Stand by. Yeah, yeah, press the correct connect USB button. Up comes your transmitter wizard. Go to the Lua app manager. Oh, the file manager opened up. Into the Lua app manager. And there we are. And scroll down until you find the relevant ones. Here we are. This little symbol here, Leon Air RC. I see he's got some very interesting um, apps in there. And this is the one we've got, Beep Editor. So you click on that, uh, you press the Install button, and away you go. So uh, I hope that's been of use to you. Have fun with that.